Hi, I'm Miss Hearn. Let's get started. Okay, we're gonna talk about related rates. I like this example for wrapping your brain around the idea that you can have two different variables and one of them is changing at one rate and another one is changing at a different rate. These are related rates though. In particular, it says all edges of a cube are expanding at a rate of six centimeters per second. Okay, so the edges, the lengths, the dimensions on the outside are expanding. First we have the little blue cube and then it's grown a second later and then it grows a second later to be the green cube. And how fast that is happening is the sides are growing at six centimeters per second. But how does that affect the volume? Let's go ahead and calculate what would be the volume of the cube when um, the side of the cube is two centimeters. What is the volume? How do we calculate the volume of a cube. Length times width times height, right? But they're all the same. So S times S times S or S cubed. So in this case, it would be two cubed. If the side happened to be two, then we would have two cubed or eight centimeters cubed. And what would the volume be if the size of the side happened to be three? Three cubed or 27 cubic centimeters. Okay, so notice that the length of the side increased by one. But how much did the volume increase by? 19. Now what happens when say the length of the side is four centimeters? What do we get for the volume then? 64 cubic centimeters. How much of an increase is that? 37? The only thing I'm trying to observe here is that the sides increasing by one unit, this rate of change is different and varying. So when I'm talking about the increase in the length of the side, since it's increasing over time, ds dt would be the rate of change of the length of the side as compared to the change in time. So we say with respect to time. And we're going to think of t being measured in seconds here. Now what is this change here, the 19 and the, that's a change in the volume, okay? And we can refer to the rate at which it's changing as db dt. Implicit differentiation is going to give us a way to analyze the relationship between the two rates. A relationship between ds dt and db dt. So I'm going to take the volume formula v equals s cubed and I'm just going to differentiate with respect to time. So what does that mean? I'm going to take d dt of the volume, the derivative of the volume, and d dt of what that's equal to in terms of s, s cubed. The derivative of volume with respect to time is just dv dt. But what do we have to do with this expression on the right? Power rule, that's right. So this is going to be 3 times s squared. But since the s and the t are not the same variable, we have to do what? The chain rule, right? ds dt. And what we have here is now a relationship between the rates. So here we have on the left the rate at which the volume is changing and this is going to be equal to three times the length of the side squared at that moment times the rate at which the side is changing. Let's start with A. How fast is the volume changing when the edge is two centimeters? What variable are they asking us to find in part A? They're asking us to find dv dt, right? How fast is the volume changing? What are they telling us in part A? What piece of information or variable are they giving us the value for? S. They're telling us that S is two. But is that enough information? to find dv dt according to this formula? No, what else do we need? ds dt, the rate at which s is changing. Because we're talking about related rates, you know, we're gonna need to know one rate to figure out the other. Coming back up here, what other piece of information did they give us? All edges of a cube are expanding at a rate of six centimeters per second. What is that? ds dt, right? ds dt is six centimeters per second. So we can plug into this formula to find dv dt. dv dt equals three times. Now I'm gonna add the units here. S is measured in what units? Centimeters, two centimeters squared. What are the units on ds dt? Centimeters per second, six centimeters 
per second. So that's three times four square centimeters times six centimeters per second, 72 centimeters cubed over seconds. So that makes sense, right? Shouldn't the volume be measured in cubic centimeters? So it all works out nicely. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please remember to like it.